Hi, I'm Holly and today I thought I'd share with you um, a short practice to really help ease away any tightness in the shoulders, in the neck and also in the hips. So right now there's a lot of people working from home and so it really does feel like without the proper equipment and the proper setup that there's a lot of this rounding of the upper back and people are getting a lot of aches and pains, neck, shoulders and then tightness in the hips. So I wanted to share a few things with you that I like to practice and things that may help in the, day, the rest of the day and you can practice at any time. So started, I like to use a block, you can use a stack of books if you haven't got a block, but to sit down on the mat into a neat cross-legged position or the legs can be stretched out if that's more comfortable. We're just going to arrive, so start to settle into your seat bones. Try to sit nice and tall through the spine. Notice here how you may naturally fall and sit. And if you can really visualize a piece of string really lengthening you up nice and tall to the sky. So we'll start here with a gentle neck stretch. So I like to use this technique of self-massage really to help ease that tension that is there in the neck. So you're going to take the thumbs and use them like pressure points and place them at the base of the skull. So there's like a ridge just underneath the skull. And if I turn slightly right underneath the skull there, you almost can ridge, get the thumbs underneath that ridge. And there's a point there, muscle, the occiput, which is quite tender and probably more so right now whilst we're all working from home, feeling a bit stressed. So you're going to apply a bit of pressure there with the thumbs, maybe draw little circles. Nice and slow and the pressure can, you can press a little bit more firmer there if it feels like you don't quite get to the spot. So a bit of pressure rolling and rubbing around in circles. And we're gonna move a little bit into our spine, avoiding that rounding into our spine. So our, whilst we're applying pressure, I'm gonna take a deep breath in and try and lift up through your breastbone and lift up through the heart. And then as you exhale, returning to center, but let your chin lightly drop down slightly. And again, on an in-breath, applying that pressure into the thumbs, into the base of the skull, lifting the heart. And then gently rolling that chin back down to the chest, but spine lengthened. Two more times, breathe in. And then breathing out. Take that one more time. So breathing in. Good, and then breathing out. From here, keep the chin lightly tucked and then again, pressing into the thumbs, that light massage. Nice and slow. And then we're gonna let the thumbs run down, side of the neck, the back of the neck rather, and then place the palms onto the shoulders the neck a little bit of a rock out. Palms are onto your shoulders and you're just going to start to roll around the shoulder joints. So moving in one direction to begin with, maybe backwards, try and see if you can draw the elbows in a little bit closer each time. Good, and then let's roll the elbows forwards now. Same again, just seeing where you can go with the elbows. Can they meet? encouraging a little bit more range of movement. And then we're gonna try and alternate here. I got good for your coordination. So you're gonna send one forwards, one backwards, one forwards, one backwards, and changing the other day way. So I get your brain functioning a little bit here, try and working with opposite direction. I don't even know what I'm doing now. One forwards, one backwards, and then roll it all out. And you're gonna take the hands out nice and wide, stretch through the chest and then flick out your fingertips. So if you do tend to be typing a lot as well, there's a lot of tension into the wrists and the fingertips. So let's take the hands to the sky, breathe and stretch tall, and then flick out the fingertips. So you shake the arms all the way back down to the ground. Let's do that two more times. So inhale, stretch up tall, and then flick out the fingertips. Soften at the elbows and shake out the arms. Last time, breathe and rise up. Good, and then flicking out the fingertips, soften at the elbows, just releasing out through the arms. Well done, a couple of shoulder rolls. And let's come now to all fours position. So you can either cross over your knees or uncross the knees and find your way onto all fours. So nice way to 
really target into the spine, working through the whole spine to mobilize the spine into a cow stretch. So fingertips spread nice and wide, making sure you're not just sinking your weight into the heels of your palms. So send the weight into the fingertips as well, particularly again, useful if you get any wrist pain. So fingertips stretched nice and wide. You're gonna take a big breath in and then slowly send your heart forwards, tailbone lifts as you arch into your back and throat lengthens. You're gonna then exhale, lead from the tailbone and round through the spine. Feel that mid back press up towards the sky and the chin comes to the chest. Then again, we inhale the heart forwards, let the tailbone rise up and try to lift your gaze, but relax your jaw as you look up. And again, nice and slow exhale, rounding, tailbone lengthens down, shoulders rising, mid back lifting. And then last one, let's inhale, press the heart forwards, roll the shoulders back. And then even feel that you can almost feel the heels of your palms drawing backwards to activate the core a little bit there as well and stretch through the core. And then let's slowly come back to our neutral spine sway a little bit from side to side in your wrists and then you can just roll your hips a little bit here and then let your head relax so it feels quite good into the the neck for some of us and into the shoulders as we kind of create quite softness into the spine explore your range of movement that you have here drawing that figure of eight to unwind your spine great and then slowly from there, we're gonna step our right leg forwards. Ground through the front toes, stretch the arms out like wings, and then rise up, bringing your palms back to the base of the skull. You can even use the thumbs again for your massage point. Lightly pressure, light pressure into the base of the skull. Lengthen through the front of that left hip flexor, so the tailbone drawing down and then lift your heart to the sky. Take a breath in and out. And again, breathe in, breathe out. Let's take one more breath, inhale. And then exhale, release out the palms, send your palms down and let's just swap sides. So we'll step the left foot forwards, ground the left toes. Gently rising up with the palms wide like wings. Breathe in, lift up, and then exhale. Find the base of the skull, thumbs again at that pressure. Occiput, relax the shoulders away from the ears. Press into that front big toe, but then lengthen the tailbone down to encourage the front of the right hip flexor to open now. And then breathe in, rise up through the breastbone. The heart is lifted, and exhale. Taking two more breaths, inhale and exhale one more breath breathe and breathe out well done and then slowly release the hands come to the floor come back to all fours position rocking out your hips a little from side to side and then bringing yourself to your sit on your heels so we're going to come into one of my favorite poses, really lovely one to really open through the front of the body and the chest. So if you don't have a bolster to hand like this one, then it's useful to have maybe like a pillow that you have in your bed and you can simply wrap that pillow up quite firm and then wrap a blanket around it so that you can create a bit of a firm base. So it's not too flimsy. So you're gonna place your bolster or your cushion, whatever you've got there, a lengthways on your mat. And you can sometimes also prop a little bit more height underneath that if you need to. It's worth sort of trialing it and just seeing what works best for you and your body. So we're gonna lower the bolster down. We're gonna sit facing the other way and start to slowly lower your spine down bone by bone. And you want your head fully supported here. So I'm gonna wiggle a little bit away from the bolster so I've not got too much compression at my lower back. And then you should already feel that arch into your spine, the shoulders drawing back. And even if your head is, is drawn back, if you haven't got any height beneath your head, then you might also now feel that lovely opening into the front of your throat, in the thyroid gland. 
So your hands can rest away from the body. Feet can be flat, but to also work a little bit into the hips, let's take the soles of the feet together. Knees to open out and encourage a hip opener at the same time. And we're gonna take a couple of breaths here. So inhale through the nose, space into the upper body, and then exhale through the nose. Breathing in, breathing out. Good, again, breathing in and breathing out. Really just tune into that quality of your breath in this moment. But also the breath is an amazing tool to help us really create more space into our body. Anywhere that you're feeling particularly like tight in that moment, direct your breath into that area. Really direct it into the front of the chest perhaps, and more so maybe into the backs of the ribs if you need some more space there. And even mentally directing that breath towards the hips. Let's take two more breaths in through the nose. Softening the jaw as you exhale. Let's take one more breath and then exhale. Nice and slowly, you're gonna bring the knees together to the side. Now without lifting your head or jolting your neck, you're gonna roll to your side so you come off your bolster. Bring one hand beneath your chest, front of your chest rather, and press your way up nice and slowly. And we're gonna take one more thing for our final hip opening stretch. So we're now moving the bolster or blanket, whatever you have in the horizontal position, and you're gonna step your feet over. You're gonna gently lower yourself down, so you can use the help of your palms to lower you down, and then just bring the bolster quite snug beneath you. So you can use a block or a brick or book or something if you haven't got a bolster for this one. And we're just gonna take a breath in and really find that arch into our back. And then as we exhale, draw the spine down and feel the pubic bone sort of tilt towards you. And again, inhale, arching the spine. And then exhale, find that length into your spine, pubic bone tilting towards you. One more time, breathe in. And then breathe out, find length. But think about now engaging the abdominal muscles, feeling that in lift, hugging of the abdominals. Keeping that length into your spine, see if you can now press into the feet and lift your hips up to a bridge pose. Try not to go so high here, so thinking about still maintaining some length into your spine. Press into the big toe joints here so that your knees don't splay out and you keep that alignment of your knees. Now if you can reach your bolster, you're gonna roll it along now to the base of your spine. You might need to come a little bit up onto your tiptoes to encourage a little bit more height to do so. Now you want to then place that bolster at the sacrum, the base of your spine, and then lower your back down. And you should almost feel like it's the fleshy part of the buttocks that sort of overhangs the bolster. It will feel quite uncomfortable if it's too high or too low. You want to feel like you kind of slot it into place. And then from here, settle down, supported in your bridge pose. Maybe the eyes close for a moment. Breathe space into that front body. Breathe out nice and slow. Good, breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. Good, and then option here, you can take a little bit more of a hip flexor stretch by hugging your right knee to your chest. Extend the opposite leg away and try and really hug that right knee in as much as you can without too much gripping, relaxing the shoulders. Flex through that left side and extend the left heel away. Take a deep breath in. And out, maybe the foot slightly lifted off the floor. Take another breath in. And out, that's nice and slowly hug the knees in and then alternate, bring the left knee in, squeeze the knee in, sending the right leg away. Trying to keep that knee into the center line of the body rather than rolling out to the side. And then flexing that right foot, extend the heel away, relax your shoulders. 
Maybe the foot lifts off the floor ever so slightly and breathe. Lengthening right through the front of that, that right hip flexor for one more breath. And then exhale, let's take both knees to the chest, send both feet to the floor, activate your core as you inhale to rise up onto your tiptoes. Roll that bolster back towards your heels and take your time to now lower upper back, mid back, tuck the tummy in so that the tailbone is the last thing to meet the floor. And then slowly bring the soles of the feet to meet. Open your knees out like a book and use the bolster to support you. And let's take a few moments to now rest, to just breathe. And there's nothing else you need to do. Just simply breathe in and breathe out. Allow the body to feel supported by the ground beneath you. Allowing that breath to just open up the whole front of your body and the back of your body. Directing that breath into the whole body. Letting all the facial muscles soften. Letting go of any gripping. Noticing if you can let the jaw relax a little bit more. This is also a very common thing that tends to create a lot of tension into the neck and into the shoulders is by gripping at the jaw without even knowing that we're doing it a lot of the time. So just notice where the tongue is in the mouth. If you can allow the tongue to sit lightly and then the jaw can release. And you soften all the facial muscles and settle and relax and just breathe. And starting to slowly deepen that breath. Begin to really notice the sound of that breath and all the sounds that are surrounding you in this moment, awakening all your senses. And we'll just start to wiggle the fingers, circle out the wrists, maybe stretch out the legs now and take a deep breath. Stretch the arms up over the head, breathing in. And then open the mouth wide as you exhale. Maybe take a nice big yawn to stretch the jaw. And then hug the knees in, rocking on your back. So nice and slowly roll to one side. Coming up to a nice slow seated position. Meeting back where we started. And letting your shoulders rise up and back a couple of circles. And hopefully now feeling a little bit taller, a little bit more open, a little bit less tension. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste.